welcome to a new YouTube video. Zoe and I are on our way up to Bowdoin because I am the AR for the Bowdoin versus Dartmouth game today. This fall, I'm doing more refing. Not because I want to become a ref when I'm done, I think I would rather coach, but it's good for me because it helps like reinforce the rules, which I should be better at knowing all of them. It's just another way for me to be around money and three, money, be around rugby. It's a chance for me to make a little bit extra money. Stunning. Game done. Bowden got spanked by Dartmouth. Very good Dartmouth side. Yeah, but I mean like... I was I also talking to one of the Bowden people, yeah. family members, and he said that their pack is really young, which is Yeah, there was, there was a lot of new players for Bowden, and I think they are starting to venture into playing tougher competition, which is good for them. So they might... They can do it. They might lose a few before they start winning, but that's okay. It was pretty fun. It was kind of easy. And now we're going to go get ice cream. We also saw um, our friends Yisha and Shelby, who play for Beantown. And Shelby lives, well, her family lives in Maine. She's from Maine. And we're I, literally coming up here, I was thinking, what are the odds that, like, they're here? And then before the game kind of starts, I could hear Shelby's voice. I hear her say, like, is that Jenny? And I turn around, I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> because Yisha played for Dartmouth. Yeah, so. so ru the wor rugby world is small. And Jenny got a whistle. Yeah, I got a whistle and a New Jersey. It's a good time. Guys, that was crazy. We just ordered, oh. That's crazy. Ah! That was crazy. We ordered our ice cream and either that kid was new or it's you know, just stupid. Jenny. <laughs> but I got a wind up with soft serve, peanut butter, Reese's cups, and cookie dough, Zoe. It's called the dugout floor, and it's a sundae with peanut butter sauce, hot fudge, and peanut butter cups, but I got it with peanut butter cup ice cream. But I actually don't think that peanut butter cups come on top of it. I think they they do. Was, oh, they do. The kid, like, he handed us the cup, and it was vanilla chocolate twist, with just peanut butter cups. And I looked at it, and I was like, that's a sundae. And he's like, uh, and I was like, it's literally a sundae on your board. But we eventually got it all figured out, and it's delicious. It's still good. been cleaning all morning and so I've been just inhaling cleaning product chemical fumes so I don't feel very good but we still have to get this second session done it is really nice out so I'm just gonna lay in the Sun for a few minutes and breathe in this main fresh air and hopefully that helps clear my head on the docket we still have to do our repeat sprints. Didn't get a chance to do that this morning. And uh, brought the tackling dummy or in the ruck pad in the balls and a target. So what I'm thinking is some passing and some tackling work. As a 13, I am trying to line myself up on attack on the outside of my defender. That's the shoulder I'm trying to attack. That way we get the overload if my wing is with me. So that's what I'm kind of practicing right now. I have cones set up on each side and then cones in the middle with the target on the net. And I'm essentially rounding the cone, picking up a ball, trying to attack straight on, and then at that last second, apply a little footwork attack the outside what I'm imagining the outside of my defender to be that way that way I can make a accurate pass to my target to my teammate
same thing, but now with a more realistic Defender. I have a few more minutes before I have to head up to the high school to actually do my job. So I'm gonna do some tackle tech, ideally going into like a low chop, then a jackal. I struggle with the height of my um, tackles. So I'm really gonna work on that this off season. I'm a little bummed because some of my friends are getting together tomorrow, Tuesday, to do some skill work down in Boston, but unfortunately during the school year, the afternoon and evenings are when I'm busiest and that's when I'm coaching, so I can't make it down this week. I really want to, though, make it down or have them come up at least once during September and then a little bit more consistently in October. What I really need, what I really want, is an assistant coach, someone who can lead the sessions on the days that I can't be there. I have a few athletes in mind that I think could handle it. Uh, it just kind of comes down to whether if they want to, or they feel confident enough to do so. We'll see. I get into the feeling of like, um, like wanting to be down by my teammates. That way I can actually uh, get some quality training in more than just maybe like once a week. Makes you think, like do we move? I don't know. Do we live in Boston? Do we go to California? Do we go to Colorado? I also haven't said this, but I might have the opportunity to um, go to a daily training environment in Ireland, waiting on more details about that. So that's really all I, all I know about that. I really want that to happen, so that'd be really cool. Go live in Ireland for who knows how long. <sighs> yeah. 28's a weird age, you know, like, I feel like I'm 25, but I'm not, so I feel like this made-up pressure to be further along than I am. Yeah, I don't know. Guys, check out the new fridge that we got. Stainless steel. I actually don't know if it's stainless steel because I see a stain right there. Our old fridge, emphasis on old, it was like 20 years old. It was flipping all the time. Like every single night, it was flipping. So we'd have to wake up, go downstairs, click the little reset button, come back up. It was bad. But now we have a new fridge. So, moment of appreciation for not having to go into the dirty, gross, sketchy basement every single day. Woo! Before I end the video, I want to show you how I'm making my latest protein muffin recipe. It's delicious. Depending on how many muffins you want, basically just depends on how much mix you use, but all this is is Kodiak pancake mix. I'm going to make a lot of muffins. <laughs> I'm gonna put four servings of Kodiak mix in. 
you're going to add some salt. I don't know how much, just like maybe a few pinches. Perfect. You can use vanilla, blueberry, or I'm going to use the BPN Banana French Toast. Essentially, it's just an equal amount of mix and protein. This flavor wasn't my favorite on its own, but in stuff like the muffins or uh, waffles, it's really good. If you're feeling fancy like I am, white chocolate chips. We'll go half a cup. And then of course, quality control. Yep, they're good. Uh, blueberries. Zoe's Nana gave us 10 pounds of frozen blueberries. We're gonna go one cup. And then I think two and a quarter, two and a half cups of whatever milk you want. I almost forgot. Two tablespoons of ground flaxseed, or just flaxseed. I don't know if this is how it comes, but health. A healthy drizzle of honey for natural sweetener. Before I even started mixing all the ingredients together, I preheated the oven to 400 degrees. This is the consistency that we're working with. We've got these big muffin tins. That's all we got. Put the muffin liners in. Oh, it's so good. Fill them up about halfway, maybe three quarters. I'm gonna fill up the rest of the muffin tins, pop those bad boys in the oven, maybe like 20 minutes. 20 minutes later. I think 20 minutes was too long. Shoot. I'm gonna keep the muffin muffins in just a little bit longer, but I need to take these out. This is a bagel <laughs> tin. And that definitely didn't need to cook as long as the muffins. It's not as deep. Duh, that's my stupidity and lack of baking experience. And then I think you just flip them. Oh shoot. No, they're stuck. Ooh, I burnt those. Look, <laughs> look at the bottom of them. Oh, it's been a few minutes. Let's see how the real muffins. Oh yeah, that's much better. Chef's kiss. Look at these beauties. Look at that golden brown. Oh, that's perfect. A little squishy to the touch. And then there's these ones. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching another video. I really do appreciate all the support. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.